Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a quick lesson uh, going into this article that I came across uh, by one of the brothers. It came up on the um, on the feed. I can't remember which brother I saw it from. I want to say it was Azan Amath, <clears throat> but honestly, I can't remember. It was from a couple of days ago. And I looked into the article uh, when I saw the 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 front line of this of this uh, news article one of the brothers posted, and um, you know the spirit hit me earlier today to go into it when I was meditating on you know what to get into. There's a lot going on you know with prophecy, you know there's a lot going on in the world, you know evil e, you know in his madness, you know in setting up his uh, <laughs> fourth industrial revolution. There's a lot to go into, you know. But through the spirit, the spirit weighed on me heavy to get into this. Um, is going into the profanity of Esau, man. You know these things happen. When I'm gonna when I'm gonna share with you Akiyam and Akwath, uh, Akwath in this uh, lesson, these things are happening because of the ruler, okay? Because of the king of this earth right now, man. You see, Scripture says what the way the 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 way of the king is, so are the people. You know, so the people are, are raging homos. They're in the animals and all forms of strange flesh. You see, because of the ruler. You see, let's get that. Let's start with that. Uh, what's that? Uh, I want to say that's Sirach, the 10th chapter. Khan, I'm going to start at verse one and it reads the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse one. And it reads a wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man, right, a wise man, right, is well ordered. You know, and as we can see, you know, the way, you know, society is ran under the watch of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, there's nothing but profanity, man. Whether it be profanity or the woman out of order, or the women are exalted over the man. There's no order in households. You see, um, from the food we eat, the air we breathe, just everything's out of order. Everything's out of order. Everything's out of course. You see, evil is is considered good and good is considered evil, man. Why? Because we're, we're living in a time where the evil man is ruling. OK, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked. OK, that the Bible speaks of. OK, let's continue on. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And this is why you see people running around. You see men wearing dresses, women, women um, uh, <laughs> uh, running around dressing as men. You see women are more dominant than men, man. You see you got men wearing makeup, painting their fingernails. All these things are happening. OK, because of the ruler of this world. You see. That's why Babylon is considered the abomination of the earth, because it all stems from here. OK, it all stems from America, man. This place is filthy. And now these other uh, areas of the earth, they're picking up on the same uh, filth. You know, that's why in, uh, what is it? I believe it's Germany. I believe it's in Germany that they have a, a animal brothel, man. Where you can openly commit bestiality. <laughs> Why? Hey, because of the ruler of this world, man. The wicked are in rule. You see, this is why these things are happening. All right, let's get uh, let's get this before we get the article. Let's get one more. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's get the article first. 
Uh, this is from uh, 90, 92.1 FM Real Radio, right? And it's dated December 6, 2022. All right. It's Florida News. Okay. Now, the title reads, Witnesses say Florida man has sex with dog. Destroyed nativity scene. And there's your boy right there. Your boy Chad, right? Let's get into this uh, article, right? Clearwater, Florida, right? It happened in Clearwater, Florida. A man was arrested after witnesses say he had sex with a dog and destroyed a Florida church's nativity scene. Clearwater police arrested Chad Mason on Sunday on a variety of charges, including sexual activity involving animals, man. You see that? Police say Mason was seen having sex with a dog at an apartment complex on the 2600 block of McMullen Booth Road. When confronted by an individual at the apartment complex, Mason fled the scene, then entered uh, Northwood uh, Presbyterian Church and knocked over a nativity display and broke several potted plants. He was wilding. Mason Mason then fled to an adjacent neighborhood where he destroyed a mailbox and attempted to steal a car. He was out of there. He was trying to get away, man. He was desperate. He had, this man got spirits on him, man. <laughs> this man got spirits on him. He got that perverse spirit on him, right? He was arrested on two accounts of lewd or uh, l- l- lascivious, uh, lascivious uh, ex- exhibition two accounts of exposure of sexual organs, criminal mischief and criminal mischief to a place of worship. Masons being held at the Pinellas County Jail. This man should be put down like a rat, like a, like a perverse dog that he is, man. Pursuant to the scriptures. Okay, this man is not supposed to still be breathing. Okay, and we can prove that. Because this man, he got spirits on him, man. All right, pursuing the Leviticus, the 20th chapter. And why do you think this man is moving like this? Hey, these Edomites are disgusting off the gate. Okay? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is a perverse, profane man. It's in his nature to do things like this, man. This is why Job said he wouldn't set them by the... Uh, uh, by the uh, by the flock of his dogs, man. man. Lord willing, we'll get that. I believe that's Job 30. <clears throat> right, let's continue on. The book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 15, it reads, And if a man lie with a beast, right, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. You see, so that dog and him should be both be put down. All right, that would be righteous. But in this society, no. He's being held. All right? He's be he's innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> in this in this backward society. Even though it's clear and plain that this man was having an intercourse with a damn dog, man. Okay? Hey, and he ain't the only one. There's a lot of people uh, ravishing their animals, man. You see, these things are going on in this society, man. Why? Because it's allowed. All forms of profanity is allowed in this in this in this man's society, man. You see, and Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's always had it in his spirit to be like this, man. So it's really not a surprise. You see, <laughs> scripture says this man, the wicked are estranged from the womb, man. They come out twisted, man, because why? Because they're those reprobate spirits, man. All right, they're the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan. Let's go get that in Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 58. In verse 3, and it reads... The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies, man. See, it's in their nature to lie. What did this man do when he came back into power throughout the time of the Renaissance period 
after after serving captivity for a thousand years during the dark ages they never like to talk about right the time of the uh Byzantine Empire what did this man do once he came out of the pit he started lying okay that's what Renaissance means Renaissance means uh what rebirth this man was committing iconoclasm right he was rewriting history okay reconfiguring statues painting over images destroying relics this is what this man was doing you see because it's in his this is what he's made for man he's this is how this man is wired okay this man is profane matter of fact let's get uh let's get this in the blue letter real quick <clears throat> The book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. I want to get this word estranged real quick. Strong's age 2114. Zur. Zur. Right? And it goes into what? Strange, be stranger, become estranged. Right? Strange. They're very strange, man. Drinking blood, eating raw meat. Like children. <laughs> Animals. Like that, they like strange flesh. Right? Let's continue on. What we got? Let's go up here. What Strong's info got? Right? Hence to be a foreigner, strange, profane. You see? Profane. And what's Hebrews 12 say? Let's go get it. Hebrews 12 and was it 16? Khan. The book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. And it reads... Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. See, <laughs> let's get this at uh, this man's sexually immoral, man. It's natural for him to be like this. Let's get this in the ESV. The book of Hebrews 12, chapter 12 and verse 16 in the ESV and it reads, that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau. See? Who sold his birthright for a single male. See, the scriptures pinpoint and target this man. And they're right on point. Okay? Because we can find articles going into these devils doing these things. You see? Chad Mason. This man's an Edomite, man. <laughs> this is why it's in the spirit to do these things. And there's a lot of them doing it behind closed doors, man. A lot of them doing it behind closed doors, man. Why? Because they're profane. Let's read this again. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, chapter 12 and verse 16. It reads that no one is sexually immoral. See? Or unholy like Esau. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? Who sold his birthright for a single male. <laughs> you see? This man is disgusting. And it's in, his, in, it's in his nature to be so. And this is why, what, we quoted Job earlier. Let's go get that. <clears throat> this is why Job said this, right? The book of Job, chapter 30. In verse 1, and it reads, But now they that are younger than I have me in derision. Right. Evil E. Right. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He came out first. Right. He came out before Jacob. But through the spirit. Right. Jacob is the firstborn. You see? Because it was, it, was it was according to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's will. Right. That, that Jacob get the birthright. Jacob uh, supplanted Esau for the birthright. You see? And then Jacob's name was changed to um, Israel. And uh, what was that? Uh, Genesis, the 32nd chapter? When he wrestled the angel with his thigh out of joint? You see? So through the spirit, Jacob is the firstborn, man. Hey, this is why when you get uh, Sirach, and if you can even go further back than that, when you go, I mean, the Genesis 1 and 1, right? When the Elohim, right? Created everything with Yahweh Shai. What? Yahweh Shai was the first spirit created, right? He, he stemmed from the tribe of Judah, pursuing the what? Hebrews 7 and 14, right? 
What did Yahweh Shai do? Yahweh Shai created the, the, the first fruits with the blueprint from his father, Yahweh, man. Okay? <laughs> you see? Which is that, 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 that the church of the firstborn. You see? Let's get this real quick. The book of Ecclesiastic is Salakia. <clears throat> also known as the book of Sarat. Chapter 36. And verse 12. And it reads, not to you know, sway too far of subject, but just to get to the, just to make this point. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy first born. You see? <laughs> That's why Job said that. Job was an Israelite, right? The book of Job chapter 30, right? And verse 1 again. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Why do you think he said that? Well, we can read about it. You see, this is why. This is what they would do to the dogs, man. See? <laughs> hey, the scriptures pinpoint and target the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. This is why they want to get rid of the scriptures. This is why they want to get rid of the scriptures, man. The scriptures are on point with who this man is. And those of us that have the spirit on us through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, we can see it clear as day. We can see it clear as day, man. You see, this man is profane, man. Let me get one more and close out. Let's stay in Job 30. Let's jump down. <clears throat> The scriptures are heavy, man. The book of Job chapter 30 and verse 8. And it reads, they were children of fools, right? What scripture say? Uh, the fool has said it in their heart, right? That there is no God. And we can get articles on that. <laughs> you got this damn devil called Schwa, whatever his name is talking about. Uh, God is dead. You got his, his, his right hand man, uh, Yuval Harari. <laughs> the, uh, the other gutter rat talking about what? Uh, uh, there's no such thing as a God in the clouds, man. Just talking pro, talking complete blasphemy, man. Because these are these children of fools, man. See? They were children of fools, yeah. Children of base men, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is the third part of man. You have three types of men. You have the sons of God, all right, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and then of Americans, Okay? And you have the sons of men, which are these heathen nations. And then you have the son of perdition, you see, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. This the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan. See, they are the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan. Man. This is why they do these things. Right. They were viler than the earth, man. <laughs> Scripture says they're viler than the earth. When you get this word vile, let's get this real quick. Uh, do I got my um? I got a bunch of things going on here. Let me um. Vile. Vile, right? Extremely unpleasant, right? Hey, before we get the before we get this right. Before we get the similar words, right? Check this out. Morally bad. Wicked. You see? Of little worth or value. Yeah, wicked. This is what we want. Morally bad and wicked, man. Hey, this is how this man is wired. Romans 9, man. He's that vessel created for destruction. You see? Hey, this is why they're the sons of perdition. That word perdition goes into uh, destruction, man. You see? And they're being reserved for that day. And that day's coming. And it's coming quick. Yeah, it's coming quick. 
But back to the point, right? Hey, scripture says they were vile in the earth, right? Vile, nasty, horrible, bad, dreadful, offensive, right? Abominable. Odious, atrocious, unsavory, repulsive, right? Hateful. Oh, we know he hateful, right? He slandered with his own mother's son, right? Base. See? Sickening, man. This man is sickening. The things he does is disgusting. You see it? Hey, and that's the point. He's sorry, shabby, dirty. Come on, man. Hey, evil, right? <laughs> In the tone of the beloved Elder Hawaii. Evil. This man is evil, man. Hey, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You people are going to find that out. Wicked. See? Hey, shameful. Scripture says it's a shame to even speak of the things that these... Man, let's close out with that. Let's close out there. Can't remember where that's at, but we're going to find it, Lord willing. Abba Um, Let's see. Lord willing, I can find that. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 We'll close out here Lord willing If the spirit allows The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 12 And it reads For it is a shame Even to speak Of those things Which are done of them In secret You see <laughs> And they do things like this in secret man this is what they do in secret. Hey, and it gets worse, man. And it gets worse. Hey, but in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to find out everything that you devils did, man. To, 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 to us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. To the earth. To wildlife. Right? We're going to find out everything, man. Hey, this is why you're going to get double dose. You're going to get two cups for your wickedness, man. You see? Let's read this again and close out. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 12. And it reads, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which... It was a shame to even bring this article out, man. It was a shame to even speak on this, man. Hey, but it must be done. You see? Hey, this man must be put out on front street. This is just another vanilla folder on file going into how these damn... And the phone chimed in going into how, going into how these devils get down. And hey, and this is just hey, this is just the tip of the iceberg, man. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The book of Ephesians, chapter five and verse twelve, and it reads, "For it is a shame, even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh." Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Shalom.